Hey guys, it's Alex here with Subi Nova. So this video has been in the works for a while. I was originally going to do it with the first set of mods, the V1.0 um, mod list, and that never happened. Um, so this is going to be a mod walkthrough on the V2.0 build on Nova. Uh, we're going to start on the outside in the front, work our way to the back, and then go inside and talk about the mods that have on the inside. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Alrighty, so starting in the front, we're going to start with my first mod I ever did. And mind you, the entire build is budget-friendly. I mean, there are some things that you'll notice aren't so budget-friendly, but overall, the build in total should only cost me five grand once I'm done. Um, and that is the Traveler 5-ton hitch. Now, this hitch was originally black and gray, um, but a couple cans of spray paint, and yeah, um, that is on an OEM recovery hook. If you drop down below, you have the Crawford Performance front engine skid plate, which is uh, aluminum. And I also have a Fumoto valve in there as well, as I do my own oil changes coming up top. So, let's talk about my pod lights. So, the pod lights, these are one of the budget-friendly items that you will see on the build today. Um, and these are Road Shocks fog lights from Harbor Freight. They're actually not bad. I had swapped these out about a month ago. Actually, I bought them a month ago. And I just put them on about two weeks ago as the ones I originally had, which were Alpina Automotive. Lasted about a year and a half before I started having um, like wiring issues and moisture in the, in the lights. Um, they weren't IP rated. Uh, these ones I do believe are IP60, but I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Um, these are tied into an, uh, the Alpina um, switch set that I had for the original pod lights. Um, they are mounted on a set of Crawford Performance pod light brackets, which mount directly to the hood underneath. Um, then here you have the Midland Radio 3 decibel ghost gain antenna, which is attached to the hood with the bracket. Screws on nice and easy. So I can take it off whenever I head to the airport so no one steals it because you know, I don't want to lose that. Um, but we will talk more about that when we get inside the vehicle. Dropping down to the tires and wheels, I am running a set of Matogi MR139s and a set of Falcon Wild Peak AT Trails. Now when I got my Wild Peaks, I got them for a price that you probably won't find. 120 bucks for all four. Well, 120 bucks each through Walmart. Can't find that price anymore. Now you're looking more closer to your 125, 150 range. Closer to the 150 if you um, general market. Um, the wheels, I did get those through Tire Rack. And then I also have a set, a full set of rock blocks. These are the long. I am going to be swapping these out to some, to a set of uh, rally armor at some point this year, as that one there has been ripped out multiple times on the trails, and it's just a mess underneath that, and it's kind of screwed up the entire wheel liner. Um, my mountain decals, these are from Pathmaker Photography up in Canada. Shout out to Brady. Um, you guys do a great job on these. Um, they also do the first set, I believe, off the top of my head, both the left and right, so both sides, it was around 120 bucks for each uh, total. Um, I did have to cut them, so it would be door, 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 thus the inconsistency with that cut. That was on me, that was not on them, uh, but it's really great. It's uh, 3M vinyl, and they've done all my work They're on Etsy, they've got Instagram, and all around great work. Going up top to the roof basket, I am rocking an Alpina 22 in the front for my light bar, which is mounted to the Apex roof basket. This, I believe this is the extra large and the rack 
roof rack crossbars are also um, Apex brand, which is through discount ramps. Um, off the top of my head, I do believe this was about thirty to forty dollars for the crossbars and about fifty to sixty dollars for the roof rack. Um, the shovel that I have here is just a generic shovel that I picked up at Home Depot. Painted the white, the wooden handle red, um, and it's mounted with a set of quick fist clamps and then some brackets that I had found on Amazon that are meant for light bars. Um, then I do have up top an ammo can, which I've painted red, and in there is my yank strap. I got some flares. I also have some other recovery gear, such as a couple ponchos, you know, emergency gear recovery gear. That's what's in there. Um, also up top, I do have a set of X Bull traction boards. I know they aren't the best, but hopefully I don't have to use them. I would love to have a set of Max tracks at some point. We will get there when we get there. Um, but a quick note: the like mounting bracket it comes with is not this one. This mounting bracket is actually metal that I had picked up at a local hardware store and made my own as they had snapped in the cold New England weather and I needed a quick fix. So I had to do some of my own fabrication for that, but overall it worked out well. Coming to the back, we're going to start with the hitch. I have a Kurt custom fit hitch it's a uh, class three two inch receiver um bolts directly into the subframe and then i'm also rocking a kurt two inch uh hitch back with a one and a half two inch, oh, with the two inch ball works great i use it a lot for my trailer for my quad and it you know it's wonderful um the exhaust is one of the newest and my favorite mod on Nova to the, you know, to this moment. And it is my Crawford Performance Axleback Exhaust, which does have the 5-inch muffler. As living in Massachusetts, I would love to have the muffler delete, but 5-inch muffler is better than a big blocky exhaust. Anyways, um, much clearer sound. This was... Don't quote me. Just over $300. Could be wrong. I can't remember. It's a little foggy with all the stuff for work. But I love the sound. 15 minute install max. And I've also gained on the gas mileage, which is nice. Let's head inside. Alrighty, so now we're inside Nova. So we're going to go from left to right in the front. And then we're going to go to the back seat and talk about stuff back there. So starting on the left, on the top, we have my Ultimate 9 USA EVC throttle controller with the red face plate. This has saved me a lot when it comes to merging in traffic, when I'm towing, and when I just want to, you know, have some fun or even just save on gas. Um, what this does, it plugs directly into the throttle ECU and basically remaps the throttle itself base and um, gets rid of any throttle lag that the Subaru CVT does have. Um, the switch here is for the light pods and the light bar. Uh, this is from Alpina Automotive. Let me come over this way. Um, down here I have my Midland MXT 275 mounted. Um, this thing is great. I've used it a lot. More than just on the trails, I used it in my travels. So what's great about this, it's being a walkie-talkie on steroids. I can keep tabs on things. So if I'm going through a town that has construction and, you know, they've got flaggers, I can get ready to figure out when I'm getting ready to move up, which is great. Um, the floor mats that I do have are Subaru OEM floor mats. They are the, uh, all weather ones. I'm going to be switching to a set of Husky liners at some point, which is going to be great. Um, now, mind you, the 
MX-275, you do have two options for um, power. You can do the set that it already comes with, which I've taped up because it's a long cord, and it's just a regular 12-volt um, plug with a uh, fuse built in, or you can cut that and hardwire it. And I didn't feel like hardwiring it. It's going to happen at some point, but for now, it's plugged into here, and I also have a headset as well that I can plug into my mic and hook up for him on the trails for hands-free usage. Well, minimal hands-free usage. Now, let's head to the back seat. Same as in the front seat, we're going to work our way from left to right. Um, so starting off again, we got the OEM floor mats. I've got a scanner so I can listen to in to what's going on around town. I have my set of Midland handhelds for when I'm on the trails. If anyone needs one, they can use them. This is a big thing here. This is my Gonex or Gonex. I'm not actually sure how you pronounce the company's name. Um, this is their Gonex Sports rear molly panel set. It's soft cloth. I mean, it, it's really great for what it is. It was like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'm going to be upgrading at some point to a solid, uh, like a plastic set for the molly panel. But I've got a med pack, storage for trash bags, water bottle holder, and then like a general storage piece. And then I can hold stuff here. Um, another great product that I keep in the car, I just got it for Christmas, is my Beantown Blankets um, waterproof, waterproof fleece um, blanket. This is to replace the blanket that I had in the car already. Um, Beantown Blankets follows the Subaru Love Promise, but in this case, it's the Subaru Gives Back. Uh, don't quote me on that, but so, Beantown Blankets, when you buy one of these blankets, they donate one to a homeless individual. Um, what's great is it's fleece on one side and it's waterproof on the other. Uh, they come in a whole bunch of different colors and they also have mini Sherpa ones as well. Alrighty, so here's a little sound clip of the Crawford Performance Exhaust. I am going to post a link to all of my mods in the video at the end as well. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks everyone for all your support. Quick shout out to the Subi and You podcast. Raf, keep doing your thing. I can't wait to see what 2022 brings to the podcast. Who knows? Maybe I'll make my way down to Texas and we'll hit the trails.